As you know, Oprah's here. You've seen her uh, for the past couple of minutes. She's here, though, to exclusively, exclusively reveal her new book club selection. We're going to talk to her about that in just a minute. But first, Oprah's delivered her words of wisdom to students around the country. This May, she gave guidance to Colorado College's graduating class of 2019. She told them they can transform the world every day by their actions. Life is about decisions, and the decision is that you will use your life in service, you will be in service to life, and you will speak up, you will show up, you will stand up, you will sit in, you will volunteer, you will vote, you will shout out, you will help, you will lend a hand, you will offer your talent and your kindness however you can, and you will radically transform whatever moment you're in, which leads to bigger moments. Did you just Whoa. write that in the car on the way yeah. over? <laughs> I've actually seen Oprah do that. That's how I do my speeches. But one of your mantras that I like, you said, everything is always working out for me. What does that mean? Well, I try to tr teach that to all my girls because I your think... Your girls in South Africa. My girls in students. South Africa who end up at my home for Thanksgiving. Uh, I, I, everything is always working out for me means any, no matter what crisis you're going through in any moment, that mm -hmm. thing's going to pass. Yeah. Don't we know that now? Yes. Yeah. Now that you're older? Because when yeah. you're younger, you think every it's time consuming. that it's... Go, you're it feels so daunting, yeah. It's so daunting, but everything's always working out for me. I use that as a mantra. Even when I'm in something that feels like it's challenging, everything's always going to work out. You also gave the kids some advice that they don't typically get these days. Kids are looking for meaning in their work, for purpose, but you say, no, keep a job. Keep a job, yes. yes. I had one of those girls who was like, I had it. one of my, one of my girls from my Can school. Can you come to my house and talk to my daughter? <laughs> I, one of my girls from my school is like, got a great job. She's working at a bank. Yeah. She's, you know, great STEM girl. And she's like, I don't know if I want the promotion yeah. because am I feeling fulfilled enough? Girl, keep that job. <laughs> yes. Out of your mind. <laughs> feeling Last... fulfilled? Yeah. You get fulfilled later. We, we saw a clip of you earlier donating to more House College, mm -hmm. the scholarship fund. You, yeah, we you, played that. Yeah. It was. It was. How many years ago that you, you initially donated? It was like. I, I. You know, I went there for an unveiling of a photograph that they. I've been trying to get there for this unveiling for years because I'd given money so many years ago. I yeah. Think, I think I heard that day thirty years ago. I yeah. didn't realize it had been that long, and so I went there not intending to give any money. I was just. You going, were going to be honored. I was they were unveiling your honored. portrait. Yeah. yeah. So that was totally spontaneous. It was totally yeah. spontaneous wow. because. The, the Oprah scholars, who I've, you know, helped give scholarships to over the years, these young men uh, gave such an incredible presentation at lunch. You know what moved me? Is that these guys all had gone out and gotten suits for themselves. Yes. You know, because students usually don't have suits. suits so they were yeah. all dressed they up dressed in up their suits. And, and they, they brought roses. And yeah. they brought roses. And because they did that, I was so impressed with that. And when I heard that I, I had only given $12 million, I thought... Only? But you decided to give 13. That's such an odd number. Why what did you... Because that 13 makes up. 25. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, okay, so you just okay. picked that... I, I, that's why I did it. So yeah. she, she uh, likes round numbers, but this is the thing about Oprah. Joseph, who's, who's my assistant at the magazine, said, did you know Oprah gave $13 million? I go, she did? I just talked to her. She made no mention of it right, whatsoever. Right. No, I mean, no, that's no. Really the, that's really the... Because really I went to lunch, do. and they, I was yeah. so impressed she with She said that, yeah. yeah, I went to lunch. And, and I was house. listening to their stories, and I thought, well, this could help more. People are going to be trying to impress you a lot more now. <laughs> <laughs> Buy a new suit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, on a, on, a, on a serious note, those guys in those suits, they're probably walking off that campus with some student debt. I mean, college is beautiful these days. They yes. have all kinds of services. The campuses are gorgeous, but it seems like affordability is like an afterthought. Yes. Tuition keeps going up. Yes, and, and we need to do something about that. Mm -hmm. We need to do something about that in this country, yes. I agree.